Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Hey, Felix. I'm here. What's with the secret... Shh! Wait! I can't tell you anything with all these people around. Uh, okay. We have to wait until everyone leaves? Yes, that's the deal. Okay. Well, I wish I'd known I would have brought a book or something. What are you reading? Oh, just the latest in the Fedora 4 series. Is that the beast from below? Oh, no. It's Persephone's Lament. Oh, I thought the beast from below was the latest one. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look. Is that Cherry Bafflesop? Who's that? Come on, you don't know Cherry Bafflesop? The food critic from The Chronicle? I'm a kid. I don't read newspapers. Well, the cartoons, obviously. And I quite like the Agony Aunt column, actually. I think that might be Cherry, too. Oh. So, do you ever think it's strange? Maybe they don't even know we exist. Well, I mean, they can see us. Yes, but that's not always the same thing, is it? Oh, I suppose not. So, how's school? Why? Did Mr. Tenenbaum ask you to spy on me? Chris? No. I was only wondering. School's school. I try to concentrate, but it just seems... pointless. I mean, what do you need to learn to do what my dad does? And I'm sure they're not teaching us about what my mom does. But you need to just learn in general. You can't just know what you need to learn yet. Huh. I just feel like I learn more by exploring myself. Well, can't you do both? You can always explore, but you can't always get someone like Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, spending all day helping you learn. Huh. I suppose it would be cool to know everything. Good evening, Fedorans. The old water tube system will shortly be closing Okay, tonight. it's time. Please I hope it's the worth the wait. Oh, it is. Coast get is clear. Safe. Follow me. This, my friend, is the Tunnel of Secrets. It looks like a ventilation shaft? A small, dark one. Sure, that's what they want you to think. Come on! It's pretty cozy in here. Just follow me, and trust me. So you promise you won't tell anyone about this? Promise? I mean, who would I tell? Moreau? She'd just say I'm making up tall tales again. Well, I think you'd better tell me a secret anyway, just so we're even. Eh? I guess that's only fair. Well, one time I dropped something into one of the filters, so I had to... Wow, you. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that'll do. Felix, come on. Can't you tell me where we're headed? Good things come to those who wait. So, how well do you know these tunnels, Felix? We're not lost, are we? Okay, trust me, I've been exploring these for ages now. Whenever my parents are away, or, yeah, I need quiet space, there's so much of the station people don't know about. I mean, 
Could they even fit? <laughs> Probably not. And I'm glad they don't try. They can't be that bad. Oh, they're fine. Just so busy. Always. And they let me get away with a lot. You could try not getting into trouble in the first place. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're a goody two-shoes. <laughs> I doubt the professor would think I am. She's not your mama, right? Nope. But she's been kind of like one. Hmm, so what about your... Are you sure we're not lost? Not long now, don't worry. before. We only had the same stuff to look at, mostly. Gotta try find new angles. Huh. Did you read that somewhere? No, I don't think so anyway. Here. Uh, not for me, thanks. And not for you. Relax, it's just gum. Smoking is a dumb adult thing anyway. Ah, uh, okay. I'll take one, thanks. They call him... The Scout. A man who dared to go where others wouldn't, or couldn't. He wasn't one for the limelight, but he was good at his job. He mapped out new lands. The Lightkeepers made him an offer. Work for us, they said. A lesser man would have taken the money. But the Scout works best alone. He can't be bought. Only the Scout sees things for what they really are looks to the watery horizon while everyone else stares at their shoes. If only they understood. The Scout is a legend. We've been trying to track him down for years. If anyone can find him, it's you, Agent Harrelson. So, what do you think is going to happen now that Earth is okay? Everyone wants to go back, but... Yeah, it'll take a while, right? Too long. Let's move on. Are you okay? Uh, I think so. But everything is going cold. Ah, you probably landed in a condensation puddle. Where am I? How do I get out of here, Felix? I I'm not sure, but good luck and we'll meet up later. I don't let anyone see you. We can't blow our cover. Okay, Felix. You take care now. Ha! Says the man who dived into a shallow puddle. See ya! Yes, yes, 100%. And let me circle back to you on the... Oh, Slipmire, please do sit down and come in. Ah, uh, Madam CEO, have I got news for you? I should certainly hope so. Time is money, and I can't spend time on empty chatter. With so perilous a palpable public perception problem. Well, now you've had a chance to test my new super chill air con system. Have you given my start procedure idea any more thought? Surely you don't want to rely entirely on Cyrus. Yes, about that. I can still hear those blasted mice in the vents. 
So it can't be that cold and therefore not that efficient. If the system can't scare some mice, how's it going to form the basis of a relaunch? Hmm, I don't want to presume, but did you turn it up to max? Yes, up to 10. Ah, I thought so. You see, this one goes to 11. But why wouldn't you just make 10? <sighs> Whatever. Will you do the honors? Of course. You just gotta click the dial past the little bit of resistance. Like so. Give it a few minutes to kick in, and those mice will be micicles! Good. Perhaps you should work on a prototype. We're going to treat people to a little public demonstration in 10 days. Get the public buy-in, perhaps even a vote. Hmm, it seems like there's hope for your aircon yet. Those mice are feeling the chill. Yes! I think... I mean, I'd love another day or two to tweak the cooling coefficient. No extra days. This has already gone on long enough. We need to be seen to act. You know me, I'm all about moving fast. But not too fast. We can't cut corners on this. The stakes are too high. I'll keep it on the straight and narrow. But if you can, find a way to speed it up. Say no more, Madam CEO. Just wait until that demonstration. You'll see. Now about those all-water co-branded mittens we discussed. I can't stay in here any longer. I'll, I'll become a herald sickle. Oh! Is this the bathroom? I guess the aircon really is efficient around here. What a day. Time for bed. Harold, where have you been? Sorry, excuse me. Come on, let's get some tea in you. Thanks, Professor. That does sound nice. say you got stuck in the filter pipes again. Ah, uh, no. Well, there was a puddle, but... It's okay. You're here now. That's the important thing. <laughs> oh dear. Do have some tea. It makes everything better. Ah, uh, yes, I think I will. Ah, warm. You need to remember to look after yourself. A stitch in time saves nine. I do. I just... this was, um, extraneous circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? What exactly have you been up to? Well, it's hard to explain, but I was with Felix. He showed me the vents. They were nice. But then I fell through a grate next to the CEO's office. From what I could overhear, I think something pretty serious is going on between Slippy and Mrs. Castlechop. Slippy? I hardly think he's her type. No, 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 not, not romantically. It sounded like Slippy was working on his own relaunch procedure. What? That would be most vexing. Why would Castle Chop have told us about this? I don't know. Maybe Slippy himself wants to keep it secret for some reason. Well, I don't have much hope that Slippy would solve the problem, but it could be disastrous if he convinced the CEO that he could. I wonder whether those light keepers are aware of this. It seems probable. What I can't deduce yet is what their agenda is. Yeah. Things have been crazy, though, with them, all the all-water news, the rock, 
Now this? Yes, very irregular. Not at all fitting with the usual models. Perhaps it's all connected somehow. Oh, could be. Did Slippy or the CEO say anything about what the procedure would be? Not really. All I could tell is that it somehow involved Slippy's patented aircon system. Intriguing. Well, if this baffling pattern keeps up, I'm sure we'll find some new perplexing puzzle pieces soon. I'll keep my ears to the ground. Yes, you do that. Just watch out for puddles. Ha! Huh. I'll do my best. Well, let's sleep on it. You look like you could use some. Sounds good, Professor. Hutsu! Good night. Night, Harold. And don't catch a cold, please. I'll try not to. Night. not how I imagined today to go. Hopefully tomorrow will be nice and normal again. No surprises, no excitement, just good old routine. Hachu! Uh, that darn air con. Hachu! Uh, I better not wake up with the cold. What's that? Oh, that darn alarm waking me up from my swim and dreamies. Maybe it's just a test. Uh, seems like something is up. Better go check the lab console and see nothing has exploded. Seems to be something wrong with the filter station. Again. This thing loves getting me out of bed.
Is he okay? It is breathing. We should be hesitant to ascribe deterministic gender terms to fishy here. Their race may not even have gender, biologically or culturally. Oh, sorry, yes. Sorry, Fishy. It just feels unfair saying it. Perhaps when Fishy wakes up, we'll be able to exchange theories about the formation of gender identity and its sociological impact. No doubt it'd give us some fascinating insights into the anthropological and biological imperatives of their society. But is... are they going to be okay? Let me see. Essential life signs seem stable. Surface moisture looks acceptable. Keep an eye on them. If they look to be drying out, give them a spritz. And what do we do next? Just let me think for a minute. Should I go get more help? Let's not be hasty about telling anyone else yet. There are all kinds of ways someone, namely Allwater, could get this all so very wrong. <sighs> Makes sense. There would be so many questions. You'd never be able to concentrate. Exactly. All those things will get in the way of us taking good care of this. Yes. Yes, and when they wake up, it's all going to feel pretty scary. We'll do what we can do. We just need to keep them safe until I can finish conducting the tests. I mean, you know, health tests. What about keeping them secret in the storage room? I could keep the boxes in my room. Hmm. Yes. Proximity to the lab. Humid environment. No other access. Yes, that should be suitable. Good idea. Let's move them in there. Gosh. I'm no expert, but they look really poorly. Don't worry, Harold. You did well to bring them to me promptly. They're in the right hands. Now, let me concentrate. Okay, I'll get to clearing up the storage room. Okay, think I'm done with the box room. Wait, let's move them in there. Harold, can you get that? Hold it up and put it on speakerphone for me. Will do. Enjoy your new home, Fishy. This is Moreau. No, it's Cyrus. What? Cyrus? I'm Moreau. Yes, I was trying to call you. You've succeeded, perhaps unfortunately. Yes, well, just for once, listen to what I have to say. I'm listening. Good. You sound faint, though. Am I on speakerphone? Yes, I don't have time to stand still every time you need me, Cyrus. What is it? So, Slippy is here. 
One moment I was all alone working on the hydrofusion coefficient machinations and thinking how interesting it was that... Sai, I really do hate to interrupt you, but not as much as I hate not interrupting you. You were saying about Slippy? Yes, well, the next moment he was here. He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Can't you come and, I don't know, scare him off? I'll see what I can do. Give me five minutes. Okay. See you soon, I guess. Thanks. What was that? Nothing. Bye. Hmm. Harold, as you've heard, I've got to go and babysit. I've taken a blood sample from Fishy. Can you rush it to the pharmacy? Get it analyzed, then get some suitable transfusion based on the results. Can do. I'll go right away. Is it looking okay for now? Just fine. It's stable, and hopefully the results will help us with the missing pieces of this little fishy puzzle. I hope so. Thanks, Professor. Good luck. The all-water tube route to the utility district has now reopened. And perfectly on schedule, we might add. The all-water tube route to the social district has reopened. Please do not all try to go at once. Thank you for your understanding. Presenting Yava Pelletier and her poem, Dark Silent Ship. Take it away, Yava! Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Tinnebaum. Ahem. <clears throat> what is the dark and silent ship? That being nowhere neither comes nor goes. That being never... Hey, Chris. Ah, Harold. Didn't know you were into this sort of thing. <laughs> Me either. But here I am. Well, what do you think? It's great. Very, uh, moving. And they really look like they're having fun. Yes! I think it's an excellent expression of their young, curious minds. Sharing their hopes, dreams, and fears in expressive verses like this, it just warms my little toes to see. Aw. So, you have a favorite so far? All my students are equal in my eyes, Harold. Like they were my own children. Uh, no, I meant a poem? Oh! <laughs> yes, well, truth be told, it's all Algarabia to me. What does that mean? Well, indeed. What does any of it mean? No, I mean. Never mind. Thank you. Standing or seated, whatever you're most comfy with, for my poem entitled The Tides of My Heart. <clears throat> they ebb and flow. Where do they go? The toads of my heart. Oh, ha. <laughs> Sorry, made a mistake. And no, this isn't part of the poem. Um, I'll start again. They ebb and flow. Where do they go? The tides of my heart. Hold by the moon, we never can see. Catching up all manner of fishy debris. The tides of my heart. Surrender yourself. 
to the tides of my heart. Let them drag you under, ever deeper. I am your dream. You be the sleeper. All of us dancing together to the beat of the tides of my heart. Where do the tides of my heart lead to? In the dead of night, in the life of day. They lead beyond the veil of seeing to the dark depths beyond being. And there we will find, together or apart, whatever is found by the tides of my heart. Whither and thither I go like an underwater question that nobody knows. But the answer is there if you really look hard. It's in the... Uh, let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh. <coughs> but the answer is there, if you really look hard. Wait, it's in the... Oh. Let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh, no, I, hang on. I'd better start from the start. The last line doesn't have the same effect otherwise. Sorry, okay, here we go. Okay, please be upstanding or seated, whatever you're most comfy with, for my poem entitled the tides of my heart. <clears throat> they ebb and flow. Where do they go? The toads of my heart. Oh, ha. <laughs> Sorry, made a mistake. And no, this isn't part of the poem. Um, I'll start again. They ebb and flow. Where do they go? The tides of my heart, hold by the moon, we never can see. Catching up all manner of fishy debris. The tides of my heart, surrender yourself to the tides of my heart. Let them drag you under, ever deeper. I am your dream. You be the sleeper. All of us dancing together to the beat of the tides of my heart. Where do the tides of my heart lead to? In the dead of night, in the life of day. They lead beyond the veil of seeing to the dark depths beyond being. And there we will find, together or apart, whatever is found by the tides of my heart. Whither and thither I go like an underwater question that nobody knows. But the answer is there, if you really look hard. It's in the... Uh, let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh. <coughs> but the answer is there, if you really look hard. Wait, it's in the... Oh, uh, let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh, no, I, hang on. I'd better start from the start. The last line doesn't have the same effect otherwise. Sorry, okay, here we go. 
Okay. Please be upstanding, or seated, whatever you're most comfy with, for my poem entitled, The Tides of My Heart. <clears throat> they ebb and flow. Where do they go? The toads of my heart. Oh, ha, sorry, made a mistake. And no, this isn't part of the poem. Um, I'll start again. They ebb and flow. Where do they go? The tides of my heart. Pulled by the moon, we never can see. Hello there. Oh, well, hello. You enjoying the show? I most certainly am. I'll enjoy it all the more when my girl performs hers. Oh, that's great. You're a parent. What's her poem about? Oh, <laughs> I believe it will speak for itself. I don't like to brag, but she's rather precocious and... Hang on, are you not a parent? Me? <laughs> no, I'm just here to listen. Is that quite so? Are you some kind of bohemian poetry lover, perhaps? Or rather, a shabby-looking teacher I've not met before? Me? No, I'm just a handyman, kind of wandered by. A handyman with no professed love for the poetic art, idly watching children perform. And making small talk with the parents then, hmm? Yes, that's about right. Oh dear. I do apologize, but would you... would you wander away? I'm not sure quite how proper it is for me to continue associating with you. Oh, no, it's... Hmm. Okay, I understand. I hope you enjoy your daughter's poem. Yes, er, uh, you too. Bye now! But the answer is there, if you really look hard. It's in the... Uh, let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh. <laughs> but the answer is there. If you really look long. Wait. It's in the. Oh. Uh, let me do the last line again. It'll jog my memory. Uh, no. I. Hang on. I'd better start from the start. The last line. Choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. <laughs> Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest and all water will make it up to you. Oh no, Sonny's here. Hi, Sonny. Harold! Well, hello, it's been a while. So how's life after Sonny? What have you got for me? Oh, it's, uh, different. But okay. Uh, same old. Uh, just as you... Uh, just, and just this, can you run an anal I mean, an, an, an analysis? <laughs> Same old Harold. Sure thing. Hand it over and I'll take it for a ride in the QT. Uh, the what now? The QT. The quick test, silly. Uh, yeah. So, you still hanging out with my dad? Yeah, sometimes. Same old Cyrus, huh? Reckon the QT will be much longer? It only takes a minute. How long has it been? Like a few seconds at the most. Anyway, don't you have something you want to ask me? Um, okay. What have you been up to since then? Oh, I must stop you there, Harold. Looks like the QT's all done. Let me just see... Oh, wow. 
Yeah, that's interesting. I'm sure it's nothing. Really, just, I'll be going. Hey, not so fast, Sunny Jim. This sample has definitely been taken from something odd, cool, or on a very radical cocktail of drugs. Spill the beans. I really can't. I have to get back. <laughs> to your new alien friend? What? No, <laughs> nothing like that. Just uh, an experimental fish. Cyrus. Cyrus made a new fish, but it lost some blood when uh, it accidentally got its fin trapped in a filter. Ah, oh, Dad is always so boring about hybridization theory. I don't even want to know. So, you need an aquatic craniate blood replacement, huh? Yes, exactly. It's a valuable specimen. And it was kind of my fault. I'm thinking a solution of granulocytes and sodium chloride rich plasma should do the trick. I think we've got some left in the cooler. Yep, here we go. Thank you, Sonny. No worries. Peace. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Good evening, Fedorans. The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. Okay, let's get you rehydrated. Ah, oh, fishy. Sunny is so tiring. Why does she need to know everything? And why does she make it so hard to answer? I should just ignore her or make stuff up. She's so clever, but she doesn't really listen anyway. Does she even care what I've been doing? I know. I'll bombard her with questions. She won't expect that. I'll ask her what she really found out after years of traveling. Or I'll ask her what she ever saw in me. Or I'll ask her whether she's finally impressed now that I've discovered a new species. Well, maybe not that. Anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? How are you finding that new blood? Too bad you can't tell me. But by tomorrow morning, we should know. Right. Time to get some sleep. Night, Fishy. What a day. I can't believe this is happening. And to me. Tomorrow, I'll get those antibiotics and I won't let Sonny get to me. Right. Night, night, Harold. Night, Fishy.
Hello again, my alien fish butt. Let's see how you're doing. Oh. Not so good, huh? You're starting to run a temperature. Maybe the solution was wrong. Or something is infected? Or maybe you need some special kind of fishy food. I'm guessing the stuff Cyrus makes isn't going to work on you. If this temperature keeps up, I'm going to need to... Drat. That means another trip to see Sunny and her questions. I promise you, I won't get so flustered by her this time, though. Stay calm, Harold. It's just Sunny. You don't have to worry about impressing her anymore. You see, Fishy? I'm okay, aren't I? You're a good listener. Maybe that's why. I wonder if you can hear me. Not that you'd understand me. Maybe the sound of my voice is calming. Or terrifying. Oh god, I hope I'm not freaking you out and you can't tell me to stop. Twitch if I'm freaking you out! Okay, good. Uh, off I go. Um, Sonny, I need some antibiotics. Uh, what for? Me? Oh, yes, your strange life form. How's the condition of it? Has it undergone any unexpected metamorphosis? Uh, um, not that I've noticed. It really is just a fish, and... Displays of aposmatism? Not lately. Sonny, I don't have long... C can you please just... I'm not just supposed to hand these out, you know. I know, but the professor, and it has a fever. Hmm, well, take these. They should reduce temperatures and fever symptoms. And I hope you get better soon. Not that you should be taking fish medication. I appreciate it. So, what are you reading? Oh, this? It's the new novel from Montmorency Spangler from the Physical Expression District. It's an allegorical treatise on the Fedoran post-scarcity politics. Is it good? You know, it's better than his last one. Oh, Harold, we should start a book club. Um, maybe? Anyway, I'd better get back. Yes, yes, do keep me posted, Harold. For old time's sake. Thanks, Sonny. I will. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Hi, Fishy. I've got something for that temperature of yours. 
Sticky situation you're in, huh? Let's hope these do the trick. You might be an alien, but how different can you be? Can't be as different as me and Sonny. <laughs> At least I managed to ask her a question or two this time. And I don't think she suspects that you're in anything more than a strange experiment of Cyrus's that I've somehow got involved with. I guess the fact that she doesn't trust me to do anything too exciting has come in handy for once. I'll check on you soon, pal. Thank <laughs> you.